three things will cause your oven and your electric range not to work. Number one will be your bake element. Number two will be your power source. And number three will be your control board. First thing you want to do is you want to look at your bake element. You want to physically inspect it, make sure it's not broken, it's, there's not any blisters on it. Um, make sure it's fully intact. After, after you do that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate your breaker for your stove and go ahead and shut it off. Um, check out my video for that. If it's not inside your garage, it's probably going to be outside. Um, after you slide it out, you want to go in the back and I'll show you how to test your bake element. After you turn the power off to your stove, you want to go ahead and remove this back panel off the back of the stove. It's held together with a couple quarter inch screws. Go ahead and remove that. After you remove your screws, go ahead and just pull the panel off. What we want to test, we want to test the bake element. These are the wires that go to the bake element. Okay? What you want to do is you want to get you a multimeter. You want to do a continuity test. So you want to go to the ohms. Um, if you have ohms with beep, um, I prefer that one. Okay? You want to go ahead and set, set your multimeter. You want to test your probes. And they should beep. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to put one prong there and another one there. If it beeps, that means your bake element is good. If it does not beep, that means you need to replace your bake element. Okay. If you tested that out and it's good, go ahead, plug your wires back in. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna check your power source. Go ahead and carefully, go ahead, turn the power back onto your stove. After you turn the power back onto your stove, you wanna change your multimeter to AC readings. Um, if yours does not look like this, you want to set yours at 600 AC, okay? Um, 600 or 400. Um, what you want to do is, you want to make sure you have enough voltage coming to your stove. We want to check one leg at a time. We go from hot to neutral, and it should be, we go from hot to neutral, it should be 120. And we want to check the other leg. Hot to neutral. Neutral is the one in the middle. It should be 120. And then you want to go from hot to hot. That means from this black wire to this red wire. Place your prong there. Your prong there. It should be 220 to 240. If you check between here and here, and you're not getting 220 or 240, that means there's a problem with your breaker or uh, a, a problem with your plug. Go ahead and, uh, and check that if that's not the readings you get. If after you check the power and you check the for continuity on your bake element, then that only leaves your control board up top. Okay, and that's how you troubleshoot uh, of a night heating. Thank you.